Well, scientists are predicting that a new ocean could be created as Africa gradually splits into two separate parts in the future. Researchers are warning that if a crack on the continent... There is a groundbreaking development in Africa. The rift is several miles long, and some believe it is a sign the continent is splitting in two. The ground beneath East Africa is alive, and it's about to change forever. In 2005, a series of powerful earthquakes shook the Afar region, followed by a volcanic eruption that marked the start of something extraordinary. The Earth's crust is stretching apart, and in the heart of this transformation lies the birth of a new ocean. Imagine watching continents split and the landscape shift right before your eyes. The East African Rift is a living story of creation, where magma and seismic activity reveal secrets about our planet's future. This video takes you through this incredible journey of change. Let's explore what happens when the Earth decides to reshape itself. It's happened. Excuse me. I'm out of breath actually with excitement at this stage to think this happened overnight. This is the stuff of Hollywood. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. In September 2005, a series of extraordinary events unfolded in the remote Afar depression of Ethiopia. Over 130 earthquakes shook the land within a single week, each tremor carrying an urgent message from deep within the earth. For the people living there, it was as if the ground beneath their feet had come alive, unpredictable, powerful, and relentless. The quakes were not random. They marked the earth's crust stretching and breaking apart. The earth had literally ripped itself apart, magma surging into newly formed cracks. On September 26, the Dadahu volcano erupted. It wasn't the kind of eruption that draws global headlines, but its impact was profound. Fiery magma broke through the surface, massive fissures split the ground, and ash filled the air. Thousands of people, many of whom depended on the land for survival, were forced to flee. Families lost their homes, their livestock, and their sense of security, facing an uncertain future in a land that no longer felt stable. While communities struggled to recover and safety measures were implemented, such as closing roads immediately at the site of any new developments, geologists and seismologists looked deeper. This was a rare and astonishing glimpse into Earth's inner dynamics, a rifting process unlike anything seen before. It's a reminder of the planet's raw power and the intricate balance between destruction and discovery, urging us to reflect on our connection to this ever-changing world. In 2005, the earth beneath Ethiopia's Afar region began to shift in ways that felt almost unimaginable. A volcanic eruption at Dabuhu triggered a dramatic transformation, splitting the landscape wide open. Over 37 miles of deep fissures scarred the ground, revealing molten rock and thermal activity below. In just days, Entire sections of the terrain shifted, a process that normally takes millions of years, unfolding before human eyes. Imagine the earth itself stretching, pulling apart at its seams, driven by forces deep below. Scientists, armed with satellite imagery and seismic tools, captured this rare event as the Somali and Nubian plates began to diverge. The movement fractured the crust, creating pathways for magma to rise and forcing the earth to reveal its inner workings. For those observing, it wasn't just a geological phenomenon. It was like witnessing the birth of a new ocean. This isn't just a story about rocks and magma. It's a window into the Earth's past and future. The Afar Depression offered a rare glimpse of processes that likely shaped ancient land masses like Pangaea millions of years ago. It was as if the planet had opened its history book for us, showing how continents break apart and oceans are born. Magma surging from below acted like a silent architect, pushing the plates further apart. For scientists, this alignment of forces was a revelation, a moment where theory met reality. But the story doesn't end with Dabuhu's eruption. This event marked the start of a journey, one that will continue to reshape not just the region's geography, but the way we understand our planet. In afar, the Earth is restless. It's a place where the ground itself seems alive, destined to rewrite the map of Africa. This is a story of transformation, not just of the land, but of our connection to the dynamic, evolving world beneath our feet. Beneath the surface of East Africa, the Earth is alive, shifting and evolving in ways that remind us of its incredible dynamism. The East African Rift, a sprawling geological marvel stretching over 3,000 kilometers from Ethiopia's Afar Depression down to Mozambique, is not just a crack in the Earth's crust. It's a story of creation, destruction, and transformation unfolding in real time. Hey, 
The earth is tearing itself apart, splitting the African continent into two. And in doing so, it holds the promise of birthing a new ocean. At the heart of this transformation lies the interaction between two tectonic plates, the Somali plate drifting southeast and the Nubian plate moving northwest. Their divergence is more than just a mechanical process. It's a dance of immense forces driven by magma welling up from deep within the Earth's mantle. This molten rock intrudes into the rift, creating pressure that pushes the plates apart, forming cracks, fissures, and fault lines. As the plates drift, the crust stretches thin, becoming fragile and vulnerable to further splitting. But what makes this phenomenon so extraordinary isn't just its scale. It's the fact that we can witness it. In many parts of the world, tectonic changes take millions of years to become apparent. Hey, the East African Rift is alive with activity visible within human lifetimes. Earthquakes rumble through the region, new fissures appear, and volcanic eruptions mark the surface, reminding us of the immense energy at play beneath our feet. Magma's role in this process is profound. As it seeps into fissures and cools, it creates new crust, a cycle of destruction and renewal that mirrors the processes at work in mid-ocean ridges beneath the sea. Yet the rift is not limited to magma's influence. Gravity plays its part, pulling massive sections of the crust downward as the plates pull apart. This sinking creates deep valleys and towering escarpments, some of which fill with water to form the region's iconic lakes, such as Lake Tanganyika and Lake Malawi. These lakes are not merely scenic, they are a testament to the rift's immense power to reshape landscapes. They trace the rift trajectory, acting as markers of its progress and offering glimpses into the geological processes shaping the region. The fertile soils around them have supported life for millennia, but this delicate balance won't last forever. One day, water from the Red Sea and Indian Ocean will flood the rift. When this happens, Africa will split into two distinct land masses, and a new ocean basin will form between them. This isn't a far-fetched idea. It's a certainty grounded in the principles of plate tectonics. Similar events have occurred in Earth's history, such as the breakup of the supercontinent Pangaea, which led to the formation of the Atlantic Ocean. The East African Rift is the early chapter of the same epic geological saga. Although the eventual formation of a new ocean will take tens of millions of years, signs of this future are already visible in the Afar Depression. Parts of the rift already lie below sea level, steadily sinking as magma-induced subsidence continues. Satellite data reveals that the rift is widening by a few millimeters each year, a slow but relentless march toward a transformed continent. When the new ocean emerges, it will reshape the region in profound ways. The physical geography of Africa will be altered, creating coastlines where none exist today. New marine ecosystems will flourish, offering opportunities for life.